Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing what I would consider a big jump, like a, a, a considerably more challenging lesson. This is going to take everything that we've learned from the past and then it's going to really put it all together in one. And I think that it's kind of unforgiving in the jump of complexity, but um, it's still, this is programming. This is actually the kind of stuff that you'll really be doing uh, when you're writing web applications. So let's dive in. You were given a JSON object representing a, a part of your musical album collection. Each album has several properties and a unique ID number as its key. Not all albums have complete information. Write a function which takes an album's ID, like 2548, a property, like artists or tracks, and a value, like uh, the name of a song, Addicted to Love, to modify the data in this collection. If prop isn't tracks and value isn't empty, update or set the value for the records album. Okay, so actually what's going on here is it's going to start saying very specific instructions on what your algorithm should do. And so if it's, uh, if it isn't empty, we want to set the value. Um, your function must always return the entire collection. So you want to, re your return, it's already actually set here to be the co collection. Um, yeah, there are several rules. Your function must always return the collection. Okay, so this is actually already set up. If props isn't tracks and value isn't empty, update the value. Um, no, actually, this is, this is the first conditional statement. This is what, this sentence right here, write a function which takes an album's ID. So we write a function, meaning function, update records. We're calling it update records. It takes in the ID, the prop, and the value, the value. ID prop value, ID prop value to modify the data. Okay, and so if prop is tracks, if prop isn't tracks and value isn't empty, update or set the value for that records album. So this is actually the first statement. If prop is tracks, but the value, but the album doesn't have a tracks property, we need to make it so there's an empty array. So for exa example, here, there's no tracks album. So here, what we would want to do using the function is make it so that there's tracks is equal to there. But you can't do it like that. That's because we want to do it in the function. So in order to do that, we'll have to do it down here. If the props is tracks and the value isn't empty, that means we're going to add a value to it. So here the tracks is empty, but we want to be able to add one. So uh, that, that would make sense too. Um, if the value is empty, delete the given prop. Okay, so that means if we were given this one and the value was empty, if the album, if we were going given um, five, four, three, nine, and then album here, and the value was an empty string, we would want to make this actually go away. But we're not going to do that now. So I just described kind of that, the way that, this is a long uh, function, so I'm just going to take it one step at a time. So we'll start with the first situation. If prop isn't tracks, and the value isn't empty, update or set the value of that record album's property. So here we want to say, if prop is not equal to tracks and value is not equal to an empty string, then we want to update or set value for the records albums property. So we want to say collection at ID at prop is equal to value. Okay, so now down here I'm gonna run the test. I'm gonna do this one at a time. It's fine to get them wrong sometimes. Okay, so this is correct. Now, I don't like the fact that I can't really see it down here. Cannot read pop. Cannot read after pop of undefined. Okay, this is a bunch of um, stuff that's un difficult to understand. So I'm going to console.log out this um, function here. Okay, sweet. So now we can see this. Now if I go json.stringify, that'll make it so that I can read what's in the object rather than just seeing it say object, object. Okay, great. So if we were to run this, what we're saying is after update records, artist ABBA, artist should be ABBA. And so we've set that into here. And then so in here, record 5439, which is this one, the um, artist should be ABBA. And you see it is set here. 
whereas up here, 5439 is not set. So we're correctly saying, we're correctly setting artist to ABBA by doing this. Um, this collection is, yeah, uh, I don't know how I could describe that. But basically what you're seeing here is that they're saying um, the artist should be ABBA. And so let's console.log, if we do collection, json.stringify, if we go collection, I'm going, to I'm going to comment this out for now, even though I'm going to use it in the future. We see this is the collection. Now, I want to say in the collection object, I want to look for 45439, which is actually this part right here, right? And so here, we're adding the ID, 5439. Cool. And now we get ABBA gold. Now, you see, because this function actually hasn't run yet, that means that we haven't added the artist here. And so if we were to run this function, I'm putting it on the second line just because it makes it so that we don't see it. Artist ABBA is added in here. So we can see that this function is adding artist ABBA to here. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm going to comment this one out and comment this one out. And now our next one is update tracks here. Now I'm just going to add this in here so that we can immediately see what we're working with. This is the response, the JSON response. Um, we, what we want, the tracks for four, 5439 should have take a chance on me, 5439. As you can see, it only has album a ABBA gold. And so that's not good. We want the tracks to be in here and we want take a chance to be on there. If we scroll back up to here, if props is tracks, but the album doesn't have tracks. So that's this example, right? Because this album doesn't have tracks on it yet. So we can actually start writing our else if statement, else if if props is tracks, so if prop is equal to tracks, but the album doesn't have a tracks property, and collection ID prop is equal to undefined. I'm just going to say console.log, and then I'm just I'm logging this out as Suedo code for now. If props tracks and value isn't, oh, create an empty array before adding the message. So create empty array. Okay, sweet. So it looks like the reason that I just wrote this string in here is because I wanted to make sure our conditional was running properly. As you can see, Okay, so this is actually, what we want to do now is use, add our new, take a chance on me, tracks. Okay, yeah. So tracks should be added into here. Now, it's not being added into here, but we are getting into, into the console.log because we're seeing create empty array. This is the string here. So what we want to do is we want to add something to the collection. So collection um, at ID at prop. Now, we know we want it to make it an empty array. And then, yeah. So I'm just going to log out this collection ID prop just to see what we get here. Okay, props is invalid. That's why I'm not getting anything. Okay, cool. So prop is empty. Um, so what we want to do is make collection.prop. We want to add this and make it em equal to an empty array. Cool. And now when you can see down here, what we've done is added an empty array to the tracks. So tracks is there. But that's not all that we want because we want to make sure that take a chance on me is added in here. We could do this two ways. We could go collection ID prop. Same thing as above. And then um, we can push the value into there. And you should see that it t take a chance on me comes up here. Now, this is one way to do it. I'm going to get rid of this console log because we know we're in there. But another thing we can do is just simply add the value in and get rid of a line of our um, function. And then we get take a chance on me. So now if we run this, 
<clears throat> this should pass. Great. Okay, so um, if props tracks, but the album doesn't have tracks property, create an empty array. Cool, we've done everything up to here. So now, if prop is tracks and the value isn't empty, push the value onto the end of the album's existing array. Okay, great. So here, we're going to create another else if statement. <clears throat> and the if prop is equal to track and collection ID prop is, we, actually, we can just get rid of this because um, this, we want this to run if the array has not been set. So if the array is set, we just, um, we won't have to worry about it. So then collection ID prop, and what we can do is just push in the value that we've been passed in. Okay, so I hope that this makes sense. Now we're running the same test as last time. So what we want to do is come down here and say, okay, so here they're pushing on to 1, 2, 4, 5. 1, 2, 4, 5 is here. The track already exists, but it's empty. So once we run this test, um, once we run this test here, we should see that the uh, tracks has an additional, um, has addicted to love as part of the tracks for one, two, four, five. So in here, tracks now, one, two, four, five has addicted to love on it right here. One, two, four, five, tracks is empty. So we can see now that our function is actually adding addicted to love to that section. Cool. And now the last element is if the value is empty, delete the given prop property for the album. So here, this is this test and this test. And so what we want to do is 2548. Um, uh, 2548 has th two tracks on it. And what we're trying to do with this one is set the tracks to be equal to nothing. We're trying to erase the tracks. So here, when we run it now, the tracks... 2548 is this guy. In it, the tracks are still there. So what we're trying to do is make those tracks go away. So we can say else if the value is equal to an empty string, then we can say collection ID prop. And what we can just do is this is that delete function from previous lessons. And now if we look down here, 2548, the tracks is still there. Which is not what we want. So what I'm going to do now is just console log out inside uh, delete statement. If tracks, if the value is equal to nil, Okay, and then also if prop is equal to tracks and value is equal to nil, then we should get this. But we're not seeing my console log, so what's happening is we're not entering it. Oh, okay. No, what we want to do is delete the artist. No, tracks should be set. tracks is it set to nil and value that's value is nil and then prop is tracks so somehow we're getting tracks prop is equal to tracks okay the reason that this isn't working is because as this prop is equal to tracks here is where we're pushing the value on so we actually want to rearrange the organization of this. So if I were to take this out and put it here, now 2548, 2548 does not have tracks. Now I believe this passes the test if we run it. If value is equal to that. Okay, so actually because now we're above the tracks statement, we don't need to add the track statement in there because um, if the prop is equal to tracks, we're going to push it onto there. And if it's equal to tracks and the collection is undefined, we're adding the value in a new array. 
And then here we're saying if it's if the value is equal to anything, we can't have it say tracks and artist. Then we're going to delete that. And so now we see my console logs coming out because we're inside the delete statement. So I can get rid of that. And now I can run the tests. And that's this working solution. Now there's a lot of ways to refactor this. If you go to other videos online, you're probably going to see other ways of doing this. I think that this is the most explicit way of doing it for um, young people that are um, new to programming. So that's why I explained it this way. Um, this is a really dense one, so please feel free to um, reach out to me if you have any questions about how this works. I'm happy to clarify some things in future videos. Uh, but for now, this one's passing the tests. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.